the Bed with Ken O'Rourke, one of my favourite hairdressers of all time. Um, hairdresser to the Stars, Kristen Stewart, Amy Adams, who else? Loads Mariah of them. Mariah Carey, Rachel Weisz. All of them. Gwyneth. They all love him. And um, I literally have just had my hair smoothed from its natural frizzy state that I think every woman pretty much is one of the biggest complaints about hair would you say yeah it's a big complaint a lot of women suffer from that it's just they knowing how to use a product properly and an optimum time of when to dry your hair so I explained that to you today that's that it, easy it is that easy um it's easy for a, for a hairdresser to do it because you get tension in the hair. So when you're doing it yourself and you're at the back, you can't really do that. So you need to find the right product and the right time to dry it. So the right time to dry it is when, well, the only way I can explain it is if you were to go out on a cold day, and you think your hair is dry, but your head feels cold. If you put your hands in it, you can feel this a tiny, tiny, like, like 5% damp going on. That's the best time to do it. And what do you think is like the best, best desert island, one product that you know controls frizz? Because frizz often it's, it's the volume and the fatness that goes with it as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's the, it's the process of blow drying it as well that, that gets rid of the frizz um, and using the right product. And you can over dry it and the hair will get frizzy. You can under dry it and it, just, and it, it won't smooth it out enough. So there's a really good product that we have called Blow Dry Primer and it cuts the proce drying Wenton. process yeah Charles mm -hmm. Wenton it cuts the drying process down so it gives it just speeds everything up and you don't end up with an arm ache especially with hair like yours that's so thick and it obviously does take time to blow dry and why do you think women have such an issue with with using styling products at home because quite often they think it goes wrong <clears throat> it's the application is a big problem so <clears throat> Um, and they get, you know, they go to a salon, they have it done, they, they see the stylist using the product, and if they pay attention, if, if it was me, I put the product on, a small amount of product on each section, and what women do, they make the big mistake of putting the product on the complete head of hair. So by the time they've got to the last, or, you know, second from last piece of hair, the hair's a bit crispy, it's like the product's dried into it, and it's set that bend and stuff that you want to get rid of. So you end up spending so much more time trying to blow dry out. So put the product on as you're blow drying the hair. And oil versus serum, I know you've got... <clears throat> yeah, this yeah. Um, serum, I think, works. I never put it on my hands because I just don't like the feeling of it. So I put it on the back of my hand, rub the two backs of my hand together. Then I have a brush, like a big sort of makeup brush. Mm. That then I rub it into the back of my hand and then apply it. And then it goes through evenly. It gets distributed much better. What people do is they put, do this, yeah. rub it together straight on there like that and then it attracts dust mm. Mm -hmm. oil i love um on you know if you've got it's like for your hair it'd be absolutely perfect apply that when it's when it's wet and um, it absorbs and serum doesn't absorb into the hair it just stays on it's like a coating yeah. whereas oil gets absorbed into the hair and, and nourishes and makes it shiny yeah and also serums are more <laughs> silicon whereas oils are oil yeah, so exactly, natural yeah affinities in there and, and um, when um, when you're putting it on with the brush, would you start like from the mid section down? Like, was it depend on the length of hair? Yeah, I would start the mid 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 lengths and down, um, mm. and be careful about applying it to the hairline and things. I mean, you know, you don't really need shine right there; it just looks greasy. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it is the mid lengths, and if you've got one length hair, you're going to get a real good reflection off it. And what about when um, when you're somewhere really hot and humid, for instance, on holiday? Because <clears throat> I find that's when my hair goes momentously frizzy and I can't control it at all, at all. No matter what I seem to put in yeah, it. Yeah, even with even with a professional blow dryer, that can still happen. Um, it is about getting the roots mm. straight. And a very good hairband and tied up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, or just go with the flow and just you know, enhance mm. what you have. I mean, your hair is really curly, as mine was, is um, <clears throat> low maintenance now. So I used to uh, not fight it, and I would, once I'd it got the curl in it the way that I'd like it, 
um, I wouldn't touch it because what happens is people constantly want to keep putting their hands through the hair. What you do is you break up the curl and you make it look frizzy. So um, find a product that's moist. Mm. Um, cream. A cream, yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah. a styling cream that's not going to go crispy, it's just going to stay soft. Mm. Um, I wouldn't fight the fact that, um, you know, try and blow dry because you just fight, you can, you, it's a losing battle. Mm. I mean, you can get it to be good for a couple of hours, but, you know, humidity is one of those things that we can't control. Mm. Yeah. And who do you think, who do you work with who's got actually naturally frizzy hair and none of us would realise? Is Amy's hair like that? Uh, it, <clears throat> you would think she's got no. She's got re- probably one of the best head of, heads of hair I work with. Amy's it be- because it behaves. Mm. Whatever you do to it, it stays like it. And she really knows her hair. Mm. So she's taught me a few things about how her hair behaves. If I blow dry it straight. It has to stay straight. There's no putting a kink in it and no putting a wave in it, but it just won't hold. Mm. It just won't do it. Whereas if you blow dry it smooth and then put a kink in it, that's when it will do it. Mm. So we're very we, we're in tune with each other with with her hair. You know, we know how it behaves. And I got her ready for the Baftas last well, this year, and uh, one evening was was the nominees uh, party, and it rained, and oh, her hair. It's a bit to me stayed exactly the same. Wow. And I was really chuffed with that. I said, oh my God, whatever we did, we did right. And she went, yeah, because you listen. Mm. Um, so, you know, yeah. it looked good. So I was kind of happy with that. And then the next night, it was obviously something completely different. But that's, looking after that it. is why the celebrities love you so much, because you do listen, you've got a great rapport with them. And yeah, it's with ca- them. and it's caring. Yeah. It's really caring. And it's not wanting them to be on the best dress list. Um, mm. You know, I don't, I don't choose to be there they've asked me to be there and that's mm. a great honor you know and it's a, you know i love my job yeah and i think that shines through actually i think so too thank you very thank much you, Ken. <laughs> oh we're in bed <laughs>